welcome to another new video. In today's video, we'll be talking about Shire Blue. So Shire Blue is one of the colors in the Shiminka Horidum Aquarel. So super granulating, super granulation colors. So this is one of the colors in the Shire series. There are five colors in the Shire series. So this color is made up of three pigments. Um, it's PY159, PB29, and PG26. So these three colors are over here. Um, PY159, we all know it is Volcano Yellow, all right, very common. Um, it's it's almost in all the Shire colors and then we have PB29 this is ultramarine blue and PG26 is cobalt I think it's cobalt green dark right so these three colors in combination give you this really like a greenish greenish blue and depending on how much like you scrub you know how much color pigments you get from the mixture you get some of that yellow as well so this is quite an interesting mixture quite an interesting color so let's go and look at the pigment properties i got it as a half pen um, and from the half pen i got all this information which is a kind of transcribe over here so, so as you can see it is supposed to be an opaque color denoted by the um, uh, uh, black square and then we have it um, there are five stars in the light fastness rating showing that it is um, has excellent light fastness and in terms of staining it has an opaque tri um, triangles just showing it's um, it, it being a highly staining color and of course it is granulating so in general when i when i test out the paint um, what i normally do is i'll do a swatch so i'll swatch it from a higher concentration at the top and then i'm um, down to the bottom where it has a lower concentration and as you can see, I've already there's also there's already a line across uh, before I put the paint on. After painting, I would draw a line across to kind of show, like kind of compare the the in the, the darkness of the the blackness of the the line. And I can see that there is in fact some coverage. I think this is being covered by the uh, PY one five nine, which is the uh, volcano yellow. Uh, pigments um, and you can actually see from this like the concentration um, what, when you have it at a high concentration I think the color looks kind of like wash like like everything is it's a bit opaque and, and it feels like opaque watercolor that you're using and it kind of looks very homogeneous can you see especially like at this part but once you mix it with the water and you just let off the water and the, the pigment kind of just flow around, you do get that, that the, the, the yellow coming out and then you see some of the blues and also the greens just kind of separates out. So this is, this is um, I think if you are using this color, um, I don't suggest using too concentrated because then you will not see, see the effect um, that, that you, you should get from Shire uh, Super Granulation colors. Next, when we look at the um, water in paint, paint in water test. So the paint in water test is where we drop paint into a, a block, a square of um, a, wet, a, a wet square. And you do see that yellow coming out really quickly. And then you see the green and then the, the blue just kind of interspersed. But it kind of looks like the blue kind of move like, like much, much faster. So you have like a concentrated um, kind of a yellow first and then green and then blue around it. Um, and this is pretty interesting. I think this, this is a very nice effect. And on the uh, water in paint test, um, you see that that very nice, um, I don't know what you call that, like little lines or streaks coming out. Um, and it kind of the, it's kind of showing how that water pushes out um, you know, towards the, the, the edge and, and those um, blue and the green just kind of move around with it and the yellow just kind of dropping in, 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 in the inside. So let's now look at how, whether it is staining. So according to the pigment in property, it is supposed to be staining. So now I'm going to take a, a scrub. I'm just going to try to scrub the colors off uh, with a, so this is the first scrub, okay. I, I, I think it, it's not very different from the um, other super granulation colors. I don't see it being highly staining, but it is definitely, at least it's definitely at least semi-staining. Semi as you can see, I am able to scrub out some colors, but not all of them. So some of them are still remaining uh, quite stuck to the paper. Okay, so, and we look at the gradient test, uh, gradient test where we paint the, we let the paint, kind of drop the paint at the top and let it flow down with the gradient on a strip of water. You do see that yellow coming out, 
okay? And then after that, you have the green, that kind of deposit around the same area, and then the blue just keep coming, just come off, and, and, and that, that kind of just like ends up here. So it goes um, yellow first, green, and then blue. Normally, I do have a, a mixture section. So I'll mix this with um, all the colors, 12 colors of the color wheel. Um, from yellow to the warmer tones and then purple, blue, green and then end with the green gold. Um, you do see that it is actually adding a green uh, to the colors um, and such that the greens and the, the greens and the yellow gets greener and you do get your, your warm colors do get like brown, becomes more brown and and yeah so if you are looking for this um, kind of effect especially um, I, I don't think you'll mix this because this already has three colors, three pigments in there. Um, but if you do end up mixing, I think this is what you get. And I quite like some of these, like the, the when you mix it with the red color, you get like the uh, brown, very dark, deep ma mahogany color, uh, burgundy color, which is really nice. Yeah, especially with the with the quinacridone rose type of colors. I, I foresee using this um, in, in botanicals, um, in painting um, maybe a, a, a deep um, pond, some lakes. Um, in the ocean, probably as well. Um, what I like about this color is that the the crazy um, when you use it diluted with the water, and you allow the water to kind of um, and the paint to kind of just move on its own. You do get very interesting patches of colors. You get some yellow here and then blue, and then they kind of separates out, and everything looks very organic. And it's, the texture is just different. Um, I, I have not seen this color very often um, in any of the super granulation series. So this is one of the more I would say special colors but from far it does kind of look like a turquoise um, color try not to use it too much because if you use it too if you use too much of it if it's too thick it will look more it, the, the super granulation the, the, the separating effect will not be so obvious if I compare it with the other colors in the super granulation series as I say it's kind of unique I don't really see any of the greens or blues that looks like this this is kind of a greenish blue uh, more green than blue so the closest I can find is a forest blue, which is kind of a green blue color. So this is the green blue, the forest blue. It is PB36 and PBK11. So I, I will not, I don't, the colors are different. Let's go and see how I use it in a short front painting. Okay, so this is what I've done um, um, for the short front drawing of um, this place called the uh, uh, Cat Cafe, things Catopia. Um, and in fact, when I decided to paint this, it was like the last day of operation, so it was a little sad. Um, I used the color mainly on the um, second level, right? Because this part is actually a turquoise green color, um, and and I, I and diluted, you can actually see some of that. Um, it looking very like grayish, a little bit grayish. And then uh, when you use it neater, um, you can actually get it to look uh, less um, less patchy and more homogeneous. Unfortunately, I don't really see a lot of that yellow coming out. Yeah, but uh, when mixed, um, you can um, also can you see um, on the side when I actually did the 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 the, um, the vines that goes up, and you can see some of these um, looking very um, textured. So for the bottom here, I believe I did mix it with TPO, transparent power orange, tusk or, or probably like a mahogany brown or something, thus giving you this texture um, that is a little bit um, like, it's like a brown, umber, umberish color over here and in the interior as well. So yeah, so this is how I used it. And I think I also used it with some of the purple and like dioxazine for some of these parts and you do get to see a little bit of that magenta color. Okay. Um, would I recommend getting this color? Um, I think it's one of those in, more interesting colors um, from from the super granulation series. So certain colors are you do see them repeatedly um, in in the different series. This one is kind of unique. I don't really see this color in in those colors that have have um, been released by Shemika. So this is one color that you can kind of uh, you can go to um, if you are looking for turquoise, a green, darker green um, that is like um, granulating and it has got like it separates into blue and yellow. So if you're doing something like that, as I said, um, in the, if you like to paint a lake, an ocean, uh, maybe leaves, um, vegetation, trees, probably trees, like the darker regions of the trees where you get a bit of like the haze, uh, you get some yellowish, um, yellow, yellow color, yellow leaves and, and green and everything all mixed together. This is probably one of those colors that you can use and it does give you quite a lot of texture. So 
yeah so i hope you've enjoyed this video if you have if you did please give me a thumbs up and also subscribe if you like to see similar content so i think i am so done <laughs> with the super granulation series and hopefully i will be be able to talk to you about um, a, a kind of an overview of the volcano shire and the des desert colors in the next video so yeah and see you next week bye bye